Hi everybody, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be propagating my Tratoscantia zebrina. Um, it's a really common house plant. It's really pretty. It's got these nice like silvery sides of the leaves and then the back is purple. It's super easy to propagate. I actually may have stolen a leaf of this plant from Lowe's or like a piece of the stem. <laughs> and that was just a couple months ago. It wasn't that long ago and now I have this whole plant. But it's not very full looking, like it's kind of lanky and leaning to one side. So I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces off and put it back in the soil. Um, so hopefully we can get a nice full looking plant eventually. So if you can see, it's already got these adventitious roots forming out of the nodes. So I'm gonna take advantage of that opportunity and use those places. So I've got my handy pruners here. I'm gonna cut, let me turn it so you can see better. Is it focusing? Maybe. I'm gonna try to cut it at like an angle like below where it's rooting. These pruners are not very sharp. Oh, they're new, so that kind of messed that up, but it's a hardy plant, so it'll probably be fine. So we've got that cutting. I'm gonna do another one, actually. Let's see. Maybe I'll just take from here, again at an angle. So there's that. So we got these two. Um, and we could use rooting hormone, but since they're already rooting, I think they're pretty good to go. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take off this lower leaf because that can make another spot for roots to form, make it more available. And also I just get worried about pathogens, like if there's a leaf that's in the soil, it's probably going to rot and I don't want any pathogens to harm the plant. So I'm just going to take that leaf off and I'm going to take this and make a little hole in the soil with my finger and then just gently stick it in and tuck it in all nicely. And then, same thing with this one. Let's see what leaves to take off. Um, if I go like this, yeah, I think I'll take off this bottom leaf once again for the same reasons. And then again, making a little hole in there with my finger and sticking it in like that. So it's kind of goofy looking, but as the plant adjusts to this new, um, way of being here it'll fill out and start to look really nice so that's all i have today for my propagation station thank you for joining me and tune in next week or whenever for more propagation updates just wanted to show you guys my propagation environment so here's where my little guy is gonna be living over here with all of its plant friends